2018 was a bit of a tough year for Albert Abreu, but the 23-year-old pitcher remains a prized youngster. MLB.com has him ranked as the number three prospect in the Yankees organization behind Esteban Florial and Jonathan Loisega. Abreu was thrown off in February when he needed an emergency appendectomy. That set back his work in spring training and caused him to start the season on the disabled list with High 8 Tampa. Then he missed a month during the summer with a sore elbow. The right-hander was able to recover, though, and after finishing the season by reaching the double-A level, he made up for lost time by pitching in the Dominican Winter League. Scouts continue to love the big arm Debreu, who has hit triple digits on the radar gun. And in mid-November, Yankees pitching coordinator Danny Burrell said, Abreu is back to his old self. It's great news for a prospect who has been one to watch ever since the Yanks acquired him from Houston two years ago. And that trend will continue in 2019. And that is Christian with a player profile of Albert Abreu. Chris, we thank you for that. Can he have an impact on the big league club in 2019? Perhaps this gentleman can shed some light on that. Kevin Reese joins us, the Yankees Senior Director of Player Development. What kind of a power arm is he, and what do you like about him? Uh, he's the kind of power arm we like. The guys that can touch uh, up, upwards of 100 miles per hour with two-plus uh, secondary pitches. If he puts it all together, he's a guy that can be top of the rotation type stuff. And, you know, if the major league team needs him a little sooner, he's a guy that can impact you really well in the bullpen. Kevin, I wanted to ask you about a pitcher who we actually had on our hot stove show last week, Michael King. Last year, he makes the leap from single A all the way to triple A. Incredible movement on his pitches, especially his two-seamer. What's your scouting report on him and what kind of expectations for him in 2019? Well, the, it's interesting you ask about the scouting report because this is a guy who does all of his own work. Uh, he's, he's a really smart kid, and, and he just he's a sponge trying to learn from everybody and, and kind of uh, follow in the footsteps of some of the great pitchers we've had in the past. Uh, the two-seamer is the first thing that jumps out at you. Towards the end of the year in AAA, he started to develop a little bit of a cutter to have like that little you know cross-cut action. And, and uh, this guy's continuing to develop at a, at a rapid pace, and, and I think the sky's the limit with him. You know, one of the players that we hear about all the time is Esteban Florial and a big-time prospect for you. I know he didn't have a great Arizona Fall League, but the one comp that I hear all the time is a guy that you and I played with, Bernie Williams. I mean, that is a huge compliment for a young player. What do you think about his development? Well, you know, Flo's got tools off the chart, and uh, him, along with Clint Frazier and Abreu, kind of had some injuries that it was almost a lost season in, in some ways. And... Uh, he just needs to put it together, get some consistent at bats, and and he's got that kind of the long limbs, long arms, long. Is that the Bernie and, and I thing? think that's yeah. what makes everybody say Bernie. But yeah, sky's the limit with him. We hear about Abreu. We hear about Floreal. Is there anybody down there that you think could make an impact and really kind of light things up here in the 2019 season that's made some progress? I, I think where where we're in a good spot is, is that we have a lot of different depth pieces that that might make an impact. You know, Tyler Wade had a had a tough time starting off the season in the big leagues last year, but he's still there. Tyro Estrada, another guy that missed most of the year uh, he has a chance to make an impact on the roster so there's a number of guys that uh, and, and you, you never know when a guy like Michael King will kind of shoot through the system so I don't want to put it all on one person but there's a lot of guys that can make an impact you mentioned Tyler Wade why do you think he struggled so much in the big leagues and why do you guys still believe in him uh, New York's a tough place to play I mean he he won that job he had a great spring training he was ready to to do things and turn heads and I think he maybe tried to do a little bit too much too fast uh, he's got all the ability in the world to, to be an impact player in the major leagues and and I think he just needs to kind of step take a step back and let the game come to him hey Kevin analytics have become very big obviously over the years how do they factor in what you do in the minor leagues uh, I mean it factors in in everything that we do in the whole organization you know it's just a, a lot of information that comes in and allows us to to make better predictions of who's going to perform and allows me in a player development side to, to find bits and pieces of information that can help me build a plan for these players to kind of take the right steps in the right direction did you have a one final I got one final one <laughs> we know what you did at the minor league level we know how much you work to get to the major league level how often when you're dealing with players do you mention some of your own struggles because you know what it's like to struggle at the minor league level you know how tough it is to get to that major league level does that ever come into conversations when you're dealing with players <laughs> probably more than i should you know i mean i think uh it's easy to look at this roster right now and make some similarities to when i was playing when we had Bernie and Chef and Johnny Damon and Jeter and John Flaherty. I mean, we had we had stars, you know, that we're trying to play behind. And 
these guys right now are looking up and seeing Giancarlo Stanton and seeing Aaron Judge, and, and it's tough, you know, when you're in double-A and triple-A and trying to make an impact there. So I can, uh, you know, say, hey, man, I can relate. You know, keep doing what you're doing. The best thing you can do is is, is keep your head up and have a good attitude and perform, and, and it'll you'll find a way. I just want to double-check. Did you just call Flash a star? Uh, they said my favorite <laughs> guest. My favorite guest on I the show. I love Flash. Yeah, I call him a star. <laughs> All right, Kevin Arlos, always appreciate the time. Thanks. Thank you.